Thank you very much, Master of Ceremony. <clears throat> I want to welcome all of you here. here. Today is a very important day in the life of Uganda Pentecost University. But more important, it's a day of remembering the life of late Professor Tamiruachi and trying to connect his life, past life and the present occurrences in the world we live in. I want to welcome the uh, Chancellor of the University, Dr. Maggie, you are very welcome. I want to welcome the Vice Chairman of the Board of Trustees, Dr. Arthur Vailumisha, you are very welcome. The Vice Chancellor of our University, Madame Ntamwechi, sweetheart. <laughs> She warned me recently not call him sweetheart. <clears throat> but uh, I get attempted and call him sweetheart sometimes. But in time which had allowed me to do so, so I'm not afraid. I want to welcome very many important personalities have come to attend this important function. I want to read my time. But I cannot do that before I tell you what in time which was in my life. Tom Rich was a man. Death is bad. I hate death. Death that I took John is bad. John was my friend. We did many things together. We had a different understanding over issues. But I can count how many times I won my argument. I can't count when I can't count how many times he won his arguments. Even if I won, he would refuse. Even if I got annoyed, he would laugh. Even if I, I stood up and sent him to go out, he would say, Go, you come back, and I would come back. He was he was a, a person that was alone. As I have many friends. I have many friends. In two weeks time, I'll, I'll count my 77 years. But I can confidently tell you, confidently tell you, I'm not forced to say that the lies here. Ntambri, which was among my best friends, my best confidants, my chief advisor, Ntambri, died. But I'm very proud that he did not leave nothing behind. He left all these people and others that you cannot see behind. If you can know what these people are, Maggie, if Mike can spend here 24 hours here, you can modify that time in money. He would have made a lot of money on his computer, not even leaving his office. People like Winomisha and others, his deputy there, my son. These are people who, who cost their time and money. But be here for hours and hours, days. Now I'm here for seven days. So is is is, is Arthur. So is 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 very wonderful people. Thank you very much for coming, all of you. Thank you very much. I want to tell you one very few minutes in few minutes how this UPU came to be here and came in existence. Some of you don't know. I would wonder if, if many of you knew. I met in Tamburochi in a hotel in Kampala, Victoria Hotel, if some of you know that hotel. We just sat opposite each other. He kept looking on my face, looked at his face. You no, know, he looked like a Kenyan. You know Kenyans, Kenyans, you, you have to be careful. <laughs> he, will, he, will, he will ask you who you are before you ask him 
who you are. They are very generous people. Very generous people, Kenyans. So eventually he moved. He said, but you man, tell me your name. I saw a giant of you and more. I said, my God. No, he was like this. He came. As he comes, I shrink. As he comes, I shrink. I said, what does this man now want? <laughs> you know, these were difficult days. <laughs> difficult days when some of us had been uh, what I don't want to mention here, but uh, <laughs> it happened. So I thought maybe he was one of those. <laughs> and, and they had come to ask me what I was doing there. So I, I, go, I prepared my heart as to what I should tell him. said, you man, what do you want here? Tell me your name. I looked at him. I said, I'm Dr. Nathan Karema. Oh, you are the one. Uh, now my heart went off. I said, now I'm finished. So I said, who are you? I said, I'm John Tamrochi. I want to talk to you. I was reading a book. He looked at the book. He said, oh, I want to talk to you. He said, yes. Um, where do you work from? I told him everything about myself. He said, oh, you are the right person I want. I want to start a university. Said, university? I said, are you, are you a professor or something? He said, yes, I teach at the university told me I have started a, 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 a department of uh, law faculty at uh, Uganda, Uganda uh, Christian University, and now I want to start my own. Can you get me land from Barara? I said, yes, why not? Let's go. Now we sat and started UPU. The rest is history. Started UPU. We couldn't get land from Barara. Then eventually he told me, carry my rest, go and look for land. We came to Fort Potro. We met good people. They gave us where to start the university from. And that's how the university started. I have been chairman of this university for over 15 years. So I know its growth. I know its strength. I know its weaknesses. And I'm proud to be part of those processes. Professor Antamirwachi was a giant. When he got annoyed in a room, all of us would look at each other and, and, and shrink. When he smiled, we all laughed. Antamirwachi was independent of himself. He was independent of his thinking. He was independent of his decision making. He was independent of what he wanted. He knew what he wanted. It would take him time to change his mind. One time, one time, the government of this country called me and uh, called in Tambrochi independently. And we went for interview that had been selected among other 250 Ugandans to go to Chuba for training. You remind me, I don't want, I, I want to be generous. So we were, we were chosen and we went to Chuba. And uh, the president, president of Uganda, M7, told him Tambrochi, Tambrochi in Kumanya. I said, yes, sir. I said, yes, sir. Kariman Depte Wawe. He told us in Dunyankori. But I think uh, all of you know, if you don't know Nyanko, then you're in trouble. And, uh, <coughs> Karema is your deputy. You are the leader of the group. Take these people in Chuba and learn counterintelligence to come back and save this country. We did. We took 250 people to Chuba. We were put in sections, and I was put in a section of Tambrochi. <laughs> and because we were moving together all the time, talking our things quietly, we found ourselves sitting next to each other. Because I pushed a chair and asked him to sit. After only one month, Tambrochi fell in trouble. 
He came and told me in my room, Nathan, I can't allow this. This question of saying we should not go to town, we should not leave the campus, are we secondary school students? I don't go and look for, for whatever I want. No. Me, I'm going out. I'm reaching out to say, I beseech you, you are the leader. If you break the law, when you go back, they won't put you in Ruzira. He said, no. He asked me, and I'll never forget the question. He said, are you Christian? I said, yes, I'm Nathan Karima, I'm baptized. Are you confirmed? Yes. I want to ask you a question. Do you know Jesus? He said, I know. You know what he did? I said, what did he do? He died for people. I'm going to die for people. I said, but, he, but this was the son of God. He said, I'm a son of God. I looked at the man and I knew because of what I knew that he was going to do it. I told him, you are not going. He said, I'm going. You're not going. I said, I'm going. I find a way of stopping him. I couldn't because I couldn't report him. I'll be reporting myself. In the evening, he came to my room, said, Lend me your shoes. I said, I'm not giving you my shoes. Seeing they, they said they ought to have cooperated and 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 they, they, because because our shoes had numbers. It everything of you has had a number. Number one, number two, but it's terrible. Number one, number two, number three, number four. I was number 15, Cambridge was number 16. So if they see my shoe, they, they will ask. I said, oh, you are a coward. I said, then I gave me proverb in Runyankore. I'm sorry, I'm going to say it in Runyankore. Those who sit with people who don't know Runyankore, please interpret for them. He said, I told him, I said, watch Manzi, Nwara, watch Tini, Nwasheka. You can't be coward, let me be a coward. Let me be a coward. But in the evening, I'll be laughing. You'll be brave. Tomorrow we'll be crying in prison. He said, okay, we shall meet in heaven. That's what he told me. And indeed, he left. The rest is the detail. He left. He left. He went to town. I don't know what he did because I was not with him. But we were told in the morning that the leader of the squad had been arrested and was in prison in Cuba. And they declared, therefore, that Nathan Karema is the leader from now on, because we don't know when Kamiroch is coming back. He might be deported. I want you to imagine how I felt. It was bad. I left my room crying. I mean the extra room. I went to my room. I prayed. I said, God, if you have never had me, hear me now. Hear me for the last time, will God. Let him not be deported, but come back here. Lead me, I look for him. I went back to the class. I asked the Chuban lecturer. I said, I'm going to look for my brother. He never prison. He said, no, don't, don't. You cannot leave. If you leave now, you also go in prison. I'm going to give you an escort, take you twice. I said, thank you. They drove me in a car. 152 miles. Quantum which was. I went to the deputy commander of the battalion. Said, I'm Nathan Karima, I'm a brother to John Tambrochi, who is in here as a prisoner. You are not allowed to see him. He's a criminal, he was found not drinking, and therefore, we cannot allow him. See that don't drink. They yeah. yeah, okay. You know what he drinks? You know what he drinks? I said, yes, I do. But he drinks a little. <laughs> And he took me, found a which had put on the uniform for prisons. And when he looked at me, he said, <laughs> You're fair away. It's fair, you're not fair. You coward. You coward, you have come here to do what now? <laughs> I'm facing my duty that Jesus Christ did. You wait, I've written my statement. I'm not going to be here for long. I'm going back. To... And he was talking in English. This poor could not English, of course. He didn't know they don't English. 
was given 20 minutes to talk to a commander. I told him, if you put him in prison, all of us, tomorrow, we are writing to Uganda to come and pick us. That we, we cannot stay. And I want you to put me in prison without a case. I'm not leaving this place. I started crying. All commanders would come see me crying. I refused to talk to them. I want you to open it for me. I get inside there. They got scared. Eventually, I don't want to go into wrong stories. They took us to the Minister of Defense. We made a statement of apology that we shall not do it again. But Ndamrochi refused to get out. Do you know what Ndamrochi did? After having been released, he refused to get out of prison. I said, Ndamrochi, what do you want to do? He said, no, I want them to write a statement saying we are allowed to go out of the school on the weekend. We are prisoners. He refused. I went back, I told them, you just allow us, but I'll make sure students to go out of the school. They don't go, but just allow us for him to go out. The commander allowed. He wrote a statement. Nkamurochi he refused to sign it. He said he himself wants to write it. He said, I'm a lawyer. So they allowed, they allowed him to write a statement saying, We, the Chuban School of Intelligence, do hereby, I still remember the letter, <laughs> do hereby allow the School of Intelligence students to go out on Saturdays for only one hour. And I'm going to negotiate the for two hours for two hours. <laughs> Eventually, they checked it with a pen because it had been signed. Changed with a pen, they put that two hours. They, they gave him permission to me to take. Make sure I take him to the school. I took him to school. He went laughing at me, you are a rich fairer. <laughs> now, if I served in prison, what have I served you? We took, I took him back to school. And everybody came to him clapping their hands, oh, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. That's why I'm Tamruch. I have many stories I can tell you about Tamruch. Very interesting stories. Very interesting. When we came back from Cuba, <coughs> you know, me and Tamruch had been dealing with wrong to the other part of the people. You know the part of the people. <laughs> Many of you are younger, you don't know. <laughs> the part of the people. Ah, 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 ah. We belong there, Tambuchi. But Tambuchi had changed from the part of the people to UPM. This is why I parted with him. I said, no. Me, I'm not going to leave the part of the people. I live in UPC until. This is my life. Time which went to. But uh, eventually, <laughs> circumstances forced him also uh, to live. Time was a very kind man. He loved people. He cared for the care for people who didn't have any help. This investor would be ahead of the investors, but he told people for nothing. This is another area he called with him and he refused to change. Half of the school find they don't pay fees. Tiny cent, tiny cent. Tiny cent. We cannot live for money only. Tiny cent. Half of the school. Not even paying half of the tuition, but free. You find the, the whole school, we had a population of uh, so many people. But how many paid fees? Almost a quarter. Also paying half. He was generous. He was very generous. We clap, clap, clap for John. Clap for him. He was a very wonderful man. Very careful man. You loved him. He loved you. You hated him. You parted ways. If you wanted to come back, you come back. If you don't want to come back, go away. He lived his entire life. Tamrochi, 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 stay in peace. I thank you indeed. I want to welcome our esteemed something else. Oh, you all. I want to welcome our esteemed, yes, yeah, still, Vice Chancellor, who says, John Tamrochi, sweetheart. 
uh, to invite the uh, uh, to invite the Chancellor of the University, Madame Maggie. Thank you very much. I hope I have been very kind. Yes, you have, and I appreciate.